everyone, my name is Andrea Northup. I'm the Assistant Director of Sponsor Relations here at Habitat Central Arizona. And here with me today, we have Eric Nelson, who is our Director of Spiritual Life at Grand Canyon University. So welcome, Eric. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, we are glad to have you and be able to talk more about the GCU Habitat Partnership and the impact and student engagement and all of the good things. So GCU and Habitat, we started partnering about eight years ago in 2015. And that's when GCU had approached us to say, how can we help serve the surrounding community and the surrounding families? And so that's where the whole partnership began. So GCU as a whole, we're a big school and we're growing and growing. And uh, yes, by the thousands almost, it seems like. It's every year, it's getting bigger. But yeah. it's amazing because as we do grow in size of a school, we do grow in our capacity to serve. And that comes down to partnering with those in the field. So with Habitat, for example, we don't have students who are experts in in home projects and painting right. and gravel and, and so many different projects, but we do have students who want to serve. And so right. that's a great way to say, well, we have experts out there who are doing some great ministry. We have bodies, we have volunteers, <laughs> right, we have young right. people who really want to make a difference. And so if we can partner together and allow them to, to serve and express uh, their heart in that yeah. um, without maybe the expertise of construction, uh, yeah. that's a great fit. It is. It truly is. And we say you don't need to have any previous experience. As long as you have the willingness to serve, we'll teach you what you need to know. And that desire shines through. There's a lot of people who, when they come and lead the students and help out with those projects, they leave touched and moved themselves. Mm -hmm. And they notice the heart difference Mm -hmm. that when students come out, they want to be there. They want to touch local Um, local families and they want to be a part of the change that's happening in the community. What is some of that impact that you've seen some of the students make through Habitat? Yeah, as you just mentioned, it's incredible because we have students who, for the most part, are going to fly out here and go to college at GCU. And and they may move home, they may stay out here, but Mm -hmm. if they're serving um, on one of our annual events with Habitat, um, they, they might not see that family again. But what's amazing is we know that those families are connected in the community through Habitat and relationships yeah. that extend outside of just that day or those yeah. students. So they know that they're part of a bigger story. Right. Um, um, we try to encourage them, hey, get to know the family you're serving, get to know the Habitat um, staff and volunteers who mm-hmm. really are the ones who brought out the shovels and the paint and gravel Yeah. Um, in a way that's very community driven. So yeah. often what happens is um, our students have a great time (laughs) and they come back and they go all right sign me up for the next one and we do see a lot of um, recurring students they'll sign up for all of the it it may just be the two annual big events Mm -hmm. uh, but some will sign up for more habitat builds yeah yeah they come out on that reoccurring basis twice a month whenever we have projects and those huge student projects for lopska local where we have out the 250 300 students on a day they make a big splash and they help create a lot of momentum, but it's those students that are coming out on a daily Mm -hmm. or biweekly basis who really help keep that momentum and keep that presence moving forward, saying that, hey, we're not just here for the big days, we're here for everything that's in between. So since we've started, you guys have helped us serve 500 unique families with a thousand repairs around campus. Your guys' heart behind what you do just extends out in so many different levels and is, has been such an asset to the community at large here. No, that, that, that's amazing. I mean, like you just said, and it, it's amazing to see schools and ministries and organizations partner together and we're all living in the same community. And so if we can help each other out and serve one another, that's, that's really the goal. And I think what's amazing about everything we've talked about today is we all get inspired. Maybe I'll just say I get inspired, but I think yeah. we all get inspired when you see um, a lot of young people yes. um, doing great things. Yes. And, yes. you know, at GCU, our tagline is find your purpose. And we mm-hmm. want students to find their purpose and right. and learn that wherever you're going to be, wherever, whatever career field you're studying for and whatever vocation you have, you can be a servant leader in that way. And even if that could be practiced in some small way by coming out on a habitat build and, and serving, if you just really step back and you see a lot of young people yes. making a positive impact on the city, but really if you step back and look at the world, I think yeah. who, who wouldn't be inspired by seeing young people raise up and say, hey, let's change this. Let's make yeah. this better. Yeah. Let's be positive. And I think that really inspires others. I think it was the last build in 
February mm-hmm. when our soccer team was out. Oh, and yeah. I think yeah, they set yeah. a record for how fast <laughs> people can move gravel. But it's so exciting. Let's yeah. to even to make serving a competition and, and right. make it fun like that is, is really right. inspiring. Right. And that family, Susan Sandoval, she has continually to spoke vo- speak volumes. So she was so moved by that day. So we did the gravel and the painting. Mm. And she said, I'm going to drive past my house. I'm not even going to recognize it. And I think she's <laughs> even had some other services done as well. But she was just so moved by all of the Mm. students who came to help her that day. Well, we appreciate you joining us today, Eric, and again, appreciate everything that GCU does. We look forward to continuing to serve with you guys and having even projects coming up in April and at the um, end of this academic year and then kicking off next year with the bang. So absolutely. Well, thank you. And uh, it's it's great. Let's um, let's keep it going.